On July 25th, 2019, alongside the release of Song of the Elves and the Elf City of Prif, was a scary dungeon boss, Hunlith, the notorious Dog of the Gauntlet, which is a minigame, dungeon minigame thing. This minigame would prove to be game-changing, mostly for Iron Men, because th there's no chance to lose your stuff, every completion is tossing you an absurd amount of alkable items, and there's a chance to get some highly sought-after armor, sword, or bow. Fuh. But there's more to it than that. There are two versions of the gauntlet, normal and corrupted. The red version, red of course, meaning evil and much more powerful as many tales have taught you before. It buffs up all the monster's health and strength and lowers the time limit from 10 minutes to seven and a half minutes. And let me tell you folks, Corrupted Gauntlet is no walk in the park. And a lot of video makers especially will have you think otherwise. But remember, they are lunatics. The fact that they are able to come to the Corrupted Gauntlet and bust out a hundred of these just as like a little pit stop in their actual series of Journey to Infernal Cape, but every round I get waterboarded or whatever they're doing that week is insane. Corrupted Gauntlet is difficult in a lot of different ways, but my biggest roadblock is one that most players don't run into when they get here. My stats. If I was being smart about this, I'd definitely get myself 90 plus range magic and defense and grind chambers out to get the two dope prayers from that before taking on Corrupted Gauntlet. Because my attacks are going to look a lot like an airsoft gun letting loose on an M1 Abrams tank. So this might be uh, a little difficult for me. But I have a plan in mind. It's a little unconventional, but I figured, you know, if I want a Corrupted Gauntlet KC, I've got to think outside the box. Hey guys, um, I figured, you know, if I could take out a tank, I can take out Hunliff no problem, but uh, it turns out that war is a lot different than I thought. This has not helped me with gauntlet prep at all. Uh, war is very unrelated to RuneScape things, but while I'm here, I guess I'll tell you what I've learned. I signed up with War Thunder. It's the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. 2,000 plus tanks, planes, helicopters, ships, combined arms warfare. And they've got arcade style game modes and realistic tactical ones, no matter what what kind of PvP you're into. I can't even begin to explain the incredible detail of each vehicle and the damage mechanics. My golly, they're insane. Here's me at the start of a match. My teammate demonstrates to me just how real this is. Look at that. One little bump and my engine's out before the battle even starts. It's just like real war. Don't worry about getting a big fake cockpit simulator device. Mouse and keyboard is all you need here. Just look how beautiful this game is. Explosions and smoke effects. Destruction. War is beautiful. Play War Thunder for free on PC, Xbox Series X, and S, PlayStation 5, or the previous gen consoles. New players and returning players can claim a big bonus pack with premium vehicles, premium account, 3D decorator, and more by using my link in the description. Thanks to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. All right, maybe I take a more practical approach to this. Hello? Yo, what's up, man? Oh, what's up? From here on out, you'll address me as Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. <laughs> is that a good world for you? I have no idea, dude. That is a German world. I'm gonna switch to uh, 429, I believe. You want to complete a Corrupted, or you just... I mean, I have to try Corrupted, dude. I've got, yeah. to, I've got to attempt it, and I think I can do it, dude. I've got a very cool pet rock and i'm feeling good about it i'm gonna say 99 percent of reddit cannot do a corrupted gauntlet so really it'll be it'll be cool if you do them. yeah 99 there was literally a post that said it was harder than the inferno which okay is not true no. right, let's get you over to the gauntlet should i walk there or run you think you look really cool i say you walk there but there's this cool slow-mo animation if i run with this Oh, never mind. Run. Yeah, that looks way cooler. Uh, this looks really good. <laughs> Couldn't squeeze past a couple bushes. I had to go all the way around through this nope. guy's house. So is there like lore behind the Corrupted Gauntlet or does it just exist for everybody? The Gauntlet was created as a training ground by the Amlod clan to ensure their warriors were capable of defending Priftinus during the God Wars. <laughs> My character goes, train? <laughs> There's got to be a way for me to disable this, this drop thing. This is going to be so embarrassing. If you do find a way to disable it, I'd love to know. So Scoreboard. You're gonna be one of those completions, and maybe even one of those deaths. Definitely one of the deaths. Definitely, there... definitely one of the deaths. So I'm guessing you have to do the regular one first before you can even yeah, try. Yeah, you have corrupted. to complete a, a regular before you can even do corrupted. Yeah, you can go in if you want. I mean, they're gonna let me bring my rock in, right? Yeah. Well, no. So I'm gonna watch them while I'm while I'm in there. Uh, yeah. The the guy to your right. <laughs> uh, first thing you want to do, just go straight into the boss room. All right, I'll find him. Is that him? Yeah, just go straight in there. I'm going in. Are you going to want to pray range? You coward. Usually, I just like to hit him a bunch of times. And, uh... Give him one of these. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to want to put those on. Okay, pray mage now. Okay. Okay, you're doing great. Pray mage, he just disabled your prayers. Oh, okay, a little late, but we got him. 
Range? Yep, nice. You're getting the hang of this. I've already got it down to a science. What the fuck is uh, that So thing? that you want to run away from. I it's going to like go. follow you around and stuff. Also, if you go under the boss, you're going to get trampled. He's going to hit you for a lot. Um, but, oh, mage. Uh, got him. Now you know what you're up against. Um, That's not too bad. <laughs> so first thing, you want to identify where the boss room is. Okay, so it's south of you. We're going to be going in a circle around this room. Um, so you want to start from either the east or the west. Just flick one of these on and uh, you're going to want to kill these guys. You're going to want a weapon frame from one of these guys. Okay. And you can pray melee. Uh, I don't know how high your defense is, actually. I'm not really sure. But I think it's 75. 75? Okay, yeah, you're probably going to want to pray melee against these guys. You're going to want to pick up any shards you get. Okay. Dude, you're doing great. Good on time. You're going to want to go into the north room, grab that uh, frame, that teleport crystal, and grab those little uh, those little cotton balls as well. Okay, I'm going to grab them. I want you to flick the light of the north room here, but don't go in. We're just going to see what's in there because this could be a boss room. Nope, it's not. So now go west. We're just making a little circle around like your original uh, starting room. Okay, chop three logs here. What are we making with logs? This is all for your armor, the cotton and the logs, and we need some rocks. Uh, turn on the north light uh as well we're just gonna we're scouting these rooms to see if there's a boss in them okay so there's a bear we're gonna ignore that no bear we don't like bears also since you already got your logs you can drop your axe you no longer need it all right see if there's a dark beast or a dragon okay perfect so we're gonna come back to that we're not killing that yet now go to that little spherical pan thing like north of you that thing yeah yeah, yeah. uh and you're gonna want to make a staff a seven you can press seven twice Seven yep. twice. What did I just do? You just made it an upgraded staff. So now drop all your fish here. Drop your cotton, your logs, because uh, you're going to want a little more space. Make two vials. Okay, okay, perfect. And now go back to that dark beast. And you can actually use those empty vials on a fishing spot to fill them. And you can crush those crystal shards. You can uh, do it twice because uh, you're going to need to make potions with those. And you're going to want to pick all that up that he just dropped. We're looking for a dragon. Okay, that'll work, actually. Kill the Dark Beast. Okay. So there's a 50% chance that he drops an orb or a spike. And an orb would be perfect for us because we can upgrade the staff all the way. So we dropped a spike, which is fine because now the bear that we first saw is going to drop an orb. Make a bow and then upgrade it all the way. And now go find the bear. Freaking idiot. Yeah, he's dumb. You're way better than him. So much better than him, dude. What's the crystal spike? Is that so that's for... used for a halberd, but you're gonna ignore melee because it's just, it makes gauntlet way harder. You can crush that spike with your pestle and mortar and you'll get 80 crystal shards. Oh, nice. Let's get back to the center. Let's make all your armor. And then all that's gonna be left is just getting fish. We're making tier one armor. That's all we needed. Okay. okay. So now you can drop your other two weapon frames. You can drop your pickaxe. You can drop your pestle and mortar and you can upgrade your staff. Let's find some fish and that's all you need right now. They one tick, so they cook really fast. Mm. Oh my god so he's always gonna start with range he switches prayers every six attacks of your weapon mm -hmm. and he switches his attack every four attacks when you see like a stomp on the ground that means he just changed combat style that's pretty much all you have to pay attention to you should pray range right now because you're about to be teleported in and then every time you see a stomp you just pray the other thing you don't even need to keep track of anything else really what are these things on the ground so here? When those tiles turn orange, they're going to do damage to you. So that's just like a warning. Switch to your bow because he switched uh, oh, his right. overhead. And this you're just going to want to run away from. This is a good time to eat usually. He switched. He's on range now. Oh, his hitbox is fucked up. Oh. Um, you're going to want to run and eat. Just eat to full while running. I'll tell you if he switches attack style. He's about to. Mage now. Staff. Dude, that that's tough. <laughs> yeah. Mage now. Oh, he uh, disabled it. Nice. Uh, he's praying range, or he's praying mage. Sorry. No. Oh. I'm fine. Everything's fine. You pray range. Pray range. You're fine. You're fine. You have so much food. He's almost half health. You're doing great. Here are gonna be lasers, so just run around and you're gonna wanna eat while doing this. And attack with mage as well. God, now there's like a so much. He disabled it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, switched styles range. Oh. Uh, he's also praying mage now. Uh, 
uh, range brain. Oh. You can even toss up eagle eye here if you want. Fuck it. You have a lot of prayer. Attack with range and range prey. Yep, you, you got food. Attack again. Nice. Let's go. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the most scuffed run of all time. But <laughs> yeah, you did it though. Yeah. Well, I got my first death out of the way immediately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, congrats. Now you can do that, but harder. <laughs> A lot harder. Go see your reward. What did I get? Dude, dragon arrows. God damn, bitch. Big news for the account. Yeah, this place is insane for money. Yeah, that wasn't even the like, red one. Yeah, that was that was the blue one, and it's still insane. So your things are in the top left. Your track. Oh, look at that. There you go, bowstring. You can check the room east, and it could have the dragon. Well, let's uh, that's see. That's west. That's west. I said. I'm I'm not freaking out, dude. Dungeoneering in old school RuneScape. Basically, as close as we've got <laughs> to it. Yeah. But yeah, it does does make me nostalgic for it. Oh my God, he can't even navigate around this little thing. That's so embarrassing. He's pathetic, man. You gotta put him out of his misery. I would get far away and then greed the hit. He's on six. Nice. Yeah. That one was definitely better than the panic one at first. <laughs> the pattern recognition software in your brain is working a lot better already. <laughs> Almost. It's got a few kinks to work out. Dude, let's go. Oh, I'm getting good at this. I'm getting real good at this. What is this? Elite combat task. Of course, it's when Settled walks away, I, I do this. I got an elite combat task done. Oh, what is that one? It's, I it never took prayer. damage off prayer yet. Let's go. Pattern recognition, it's it's happening. A little bit of panic and a little bit of counting. That's all you need. <laughs> if you can prep in seven minutes and 30, uh, that's the first step. I've come for the orb, I said. Nice, dude. Reno Village reference. Yeah. Dude, you're killing it today with these references. <laughs> Dude, you're killing it today with these references. There you go. I got it for the video. If you want to put that in. Thanks, man. Just in case you want people to know that you're killing it with these references. <laughs> Look at all that food. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Albert. Dude, I can't believe how much <laughs> I'm going to be able to high elk after this. Holy yep. shit. This isn't even the corrupted version. <laughs> it's crazy. Yep. Got him. Let's go. Gauntlet veteran after five kills. <laughs> Thank me for my service out here. I think it's the same thing for Winter Tot too. It's like you do fucking 10 Winter Tot kills. It's like Winter, Winter Tot, Tot veteran. veteran, Winter Tot champion. It's like, oh my God, <laughs> really? You'd think it's like Winter Tot beginner. Winter Tot novice, they skip right over novice every time. <laughs> yeah. Prep with four minutes left. That's actually really good. <laughs> I got really lucky with the, the rooms there. Let's go, the fadeaway shot. Fadeaway shot, baby. <laughs> Sub 10. There you go. 629 prep time. I think you're ready. You think, dude? I think. I mean, just do that same prep, but in Corrupted. That same prep involves me getting extremely lucky with rooms. <laughs> I can try it. Fuck it. What's the worst that happens? I don't yeah. complete it. Oops, I don't know. That is the worst that can happen. Yeah. Try tier one armor. If you can't get it with tier one armor, we're gonna try to get you to do a tier two prep. Everything does less damage uh, if you have better armor. Can I hit this thing, please? I'm just begging. You're doing great on time though. You have so much time. Nice, dude. Actually, a really fast prep. Guess this is it, huh? Yeah, great prep. All right, let's do this shit. Shit. No, we're fine. No, we're not. Oh my god. 
good. I'm fine. Everything's fine. We've, we've never fine, been you're more fine. fine. You're fine. Change brain. Stop. I don't know which one it is. No! <laughs> no! I fucking completely lost track of what the last prayer was. You were so close. Oh, dude, that, that's brutal. Oh, no. I, I completely forgot what the last prayer was. I was so fucking all over the I place. I didn't even know what you meant, otherwise I would have told you. Yeah, I didn't remember if, if before he turned it off, I literally had no idea yeah. if I was on Ranger Mage. So fun fact, I figured this out much later. He will only turn your prayer off if he's currently on Mage Attacks. So you flick back on Mage unless you hear the change sound and you put on Range. Took a while, but I did learn that. Nobody look. Yes! Adam and Fulhelm. You were so close, though. You can get that. Yeah, I can do that. That's... He was 170 God HP, damn. and I think you had, what, six food? Crushed that spike into 80 shards, remember? Oh, shit, you're right. I didn't know you could crush the uh, the thing in the shards, dude. That's awesome. That's been a thing since release. I remember doing that at the playtest. I've never heard anyone talk about that. We keep that kind of stuff on the low, Kev. Yeah. I usually just share that with my good friends. Uh why it take me so long? <laughs> Easy as balls in my life. You know what I'm saying? Kev, this is no time for joking around. I'm trying to find fucking a hold of fish in. You should get the, uh, the plug in, Jim. Call the gauntlet plug in. I'm using it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wrong one, man. Why? Because he'd have bullshit popping up. I don't want bullshit popping the, up. Uh, he doesn't have that stuff enabled, but he is using the plugin. Are you about to do like 12 gauntlets and be like, I'm a man, and then never do it again? Can't find fucking fish anywhere. I'm not going to have enough food for the fucking big guy at the end. I'm pissed. Talk about Santa Claus's dog. You're doing fine. You're fine. You have so much time here. You have plenty of time here to cook <laughs> this your food. This isn't good, dude. You have oh, plenty no. of time here to cook your food, get to the boss room. You're take fine. a nap. Take a nap in the middle you of it, maybe. Take a nap before the kill. Man. Well. What's up? This didn't go how I planned. You're fine. You can still get it. Unironically, you can still get this kill. All right. I'm just going to let him kill me at this point. Don't want to practice? <laughs> I guess I could practice. Practice makes nothing, Jim. Don't do it. All right. You, th you think Michael kill. Phelps ever practiced? Probably not. I think he was born with it. Jim, if you get this kill, I'm gonna go get some ice cream. Really? If you don't get this kill, I'll probably do it anyway. You're on. Damn, is that by release? Yeah. How many quests do you have left? Um... <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting fucked up, dude. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't ask you questions <laughs> in the middle of this. Yeah, I'm not gonna survive this one. I was not hitting much. I should just stick with tier one arm armor for a little bit. Tier two armor is good, dude. Yeah, I know, but I, I always run out of supplies, like... You can't prep fast enough is what you're saying. Yeah. A lot of people would complain about 241 fire runes, but me, I'm thankful. <laughs> what the... Everything's fine. You're fine. Except I prayed the wrong thing. Well, now I'm praying the right thing, so it's fine. Now you're praying the right thing, then. I'll, I'll be sure to kill him with, uh, no food left with 400 HP. You can do it. I can do it. If you don't do it, you just, just don't want to do it. If I took a shower and then came back on a little bit. You guys be pissed? You're fucking creep, dude. Alright. I just got hit at 50 because of you. To be fair, that was because of me. I'm gonna scream in your ear until you like it. How are you have tinnitus? What are you gonna do? Make it fucking worse? Make it tinnitus version 2, PhD in tinnitus, dude. You're gonna have a fucking PhD in it. I was off! I clicked off of it! No! Uh. If I died enough times in a row in Corrupted, I would go back to the normal one to remind myself I could still kill a thing in this game. Because it was hard to remember that. Fuck you. No! Second death of the day. No. 24 minutes of my life I'll never get back. Yeah. Every run I've done so far is that, so. <laughs> the fact you play in full screen does not make it easier for you either. I'm not playing in full screen. No, you're not playing in fixed. She's amazing you, by the way. Yeah. yeah. I've already given up. You must be doing terrible damage if I went in a minute after you and I'm closer to it being dead. It's atrocious damage, yeah. Let me get my Adam Adamant Scimitar. Ooh, Mithril Mace is perfect. Oh my 
my god. Oh. Motherfuck. Missed that dude by one two. Yeah. You're doing good though, dude. You were doing a lot better. I think a big problem that I'm seeing is you're just not DPSing when the tornadoes come out. If you did that, like you would have it so much better. If you're not doing DPS during tornadoes, that means you need to be risking your health more when they're not up. Like you should yeah. not be eating until the tornadoes are out. Yeah. And I'll take my armor seed. Take your armor seed. Congratulations, McTire. We'd like to offer you this armor seed courtesy of the elven people. Where is it? Uh, it's in the mail, three to five business days. <laughs> Seems like I would die in a new creative way every time. But finally, after hours of hard work, No way! Yeah, I still fucking die. <laughs> Shut up, shut up! It was the best prep I've gotten in a really long time. Um, I gotta make this one count. <laughs> me and my rock we did it yes yes yeah so i'm not gonna be doing this um any more than that until i get better stats because <laughs> that was miserable uh, but you can do it if you have these stats you just need a little bit of luck with prep um and rng and a lot of things that are out of your control and then you can do it once. Only 17 tries, that's about 60 less than I thought. That ain't too bad. <laughs>Welcome to the summer of 2020, everyone. Nationwide quarantines and traveling blocks. An atmosphere of uncertainty. A truly scary time for humanity. But what most of us remember from summer of 2020 is how much we got to play this goddamn game. In the midst of the chaos, the developers at Jagex worked from home, giving us all a little treat by putting out a very long-awaited master quest. June 4th, 2020. Quest 145. Sins of the Father. Last time we were here, we confronted vampire noble Ranister Khan with our pals from the Myrarchy and slayed him in front of a bunch of civilians that were too sick and hungry to care or even notice what happened, probably. But it's time to make our next moves. I'm heading to the town of Sleep to meet up with Velioff and see what's going down. Some sort of ruckus going on over here. Hello! Not infected, are you? <laughs> oh my god, we are in 2020. Uh, I don't think so. You don't seem very sure. We don't want any infected near the children. Okay, let's say I'm not sick. What about the sword? Can I go near the children with this, you think? Maybe Don knows what's going on. Oh, it's the same dialogue. You guys got a script or something? Oh, Tanya, not you too. Maybe they're the ones infected. Something tells me this gentleman knows exactly what's going on here. Oh, he can't talk. Guys, either a mime or he speaks a different language and he's very confused right now. I just want anyone here to know what's happening. Sister Iram, maybe we'll call you Yram if you turn out to be evil. It sounds cooler. What's with the mask? Masks of the sisterhood. They store herbs in the beak? Is that what they used to do with those? Can I have one also? To wear a mask of the sisterhood, you need to join the sisterhood. All right, sign me up. I'm gonna guess you've got one requirement and uh, you are not a 2005 NPC, so I should definitely qualify if I say I do. You like the qualities we're looking for. Oh, really? Is that so? Yeah, look out for my X longer. Twit Longer's next generation cancel tool. You're on deck for it, YRAM. Maybe I should start the quest, perhaps. Oh, wait, what's going on here? The strange tattooed man is on trial. He might have caused the return of the sleeper plague. Those infected fall into a deep sleep and never wake up. I think that's called dying, actually. I'm almost certain of it. Well, there's clearly a problem going on here, and I'm guessing we're gonna get to the bottom of it on this episode of... of By Release! <laughs>
Oh, look, it's Velioff, just loitering in Plague Town. Very normal. What's up, brother? He suspects the vampires are involved in this sleeper plague thing going on. The first victim was Lady Cromwick and her husband who rule the town. I guess vampires have been seen around their manor. They happen to show up when the plague did. I'm gonna talk to the victims in this church while Velioff learns more about the vampires in the manor, which means he's probably just gonna stand right here until I get back. Oh, this is not the kind of church I'm used to. They're usually blue. May the chaos rot your soul. Well said, Lecter. Did you want something? Well, what have you got? <laughs> I've stumped him. May the flames guide you. Flames do guide me. Just go to the direction that they are not. What else is happening in here? A jester. I pretended to be him once, and then I got this helmet I'm wearing, actually. Oh, his friend got the plague. Hey, they're with the tattooed guy outside. That's his, that's his friend. Cool. Yeah, no, I talked to him. They're about to kill him. Oh, they came here on a quest? The College of Bards told of the sanctuary below. Have you not visited the Grand Kingdom of Varlamore? No, I haven't, actually, because it hasn't been coded into existence yet, jester. You're just programmed to think you've been there. But Varlamore's not real. You were born right here on this very tile, inserted with memories of a fake place called Varlamore with a Fake college of bards. You really think dudes that sing at taverns for drunk people need to go to college for it? Wake up, Jester. He gave me this piece of paper and I feel like this means nothing to me. Guess I'll keep looking around. Ooh, an explosive discovery. I think this is just like a tease for the nightmare boss. Uh, I don't think these chaos druids are here for anything except Swampletics grinds, so I'm not- I'm not- I'm, 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 I'm at a loss. Ooh, there's a chest here. Oh, it's locked. Nothing for me here. You know, I think RuneScape might be the only video game on the planet where finding a giant chest in a tucked away room in an obscure building that you'd never enter is a giant disappointment. I can't think of any other game where I've seen a chest in the corner of a room and the first thing I think is... Well, that's probably nothing in there. Here's a game dev idea that'll never be implemented. What if they add dozens of cosmetic sets spread throughout the entire game map inside the thousands of pointless bookshelves and crates and giant lip-licking shiny chests? That's a collection log opportunity, which means dopamine, which means membership renewal, which means what the fuck am I looking for here? What am I missing? Who do I talk to? I would, I'd like to continue doing this quest. You don't find anything you'd ever want to read. Good news, guys. It turns out I had to talk to him again to get the quest dialogue since I clicked a different option the first time. So it looks like they got sick after drinking at the local pub. His friend was drinking something called a bloody bracer. Let's go see to this pub and act like we know how to investigate something. Bunch of dudes in red elegant. It's like a 2006 Remington house party. What's your deal, Carl? Why are you poisoning folk? Where do you get your bloody bracers from? An old recipe of the Cromwick family. I don't recall asking that, Carl. Who's giving you the bloody bracers? Who's asking? Me, Carl. Judge, jury, and executioner of the alcohol committee. Club. Tell me now. My supplier is a private individual. He doesn't like others meddling in his affairs. <laughs> well, Carl, that's what I do. I meddle in affairs. There isn't a single affair I haven't meddled in. I'm here on a routine inspection. That is what I meant, Carl. That's what I was saying there. My work requires me to inspect your things. It's on my schedule here. It's, a, it's right here. It says fucking barge into Carl's shitty bar and inspect his drinks with blood in them. Le lethal force permitted. There's no routine inspections here. Clear off. Well, Carl, I might just look around anyway. <laughs> All right, Carl, I'm gonna ask you this once. Is there any clickable things in your bar here? So it doesn't seem to be- oh, it's in the back. It's like Carl's out of bloody bracer. I'll need to collect more from his supplier soon. I was right. Carl was just as predictable as I thought. fool. <laughs> Time to stalk Carl. You know, Jagex, I just got one question for you. I'm really curious why you thought a following mission was a good idea as if they've ever been a plus to any other video game. Carl, you're so paranoid turning around so often. You really think someone would follow you? Get over yourself. All right, Carl, don't look at my sword sticking out from this tree. No one's here. Okay, we're good. What? What do you mean? You failed to stay close enough to Carl. What do you mean by that, game? I was clearly within acceptable stalking proximity there. I had him right where I wanted. Maybe I try over here this time. See, this was a close call, an unnecessary risk. Oh good, Velioff moved. I thought he was gonna blow this whole operation just loitering over there still. The dungeon, Carl. God, I love the name Carl because it's so easy to feel authority over people named Carl. He just rolls off the tongue with verbal assault. Whoa, Croy. Croy's saying someone's been snooping around and you decided to come here? What if they followed you? Don't be alarmed, Croy. He took the longest detour in the history of detours. There's no way anyone followed him down here. You're a fool, Carl. See, Croy gets it. Feels nice. Go back to your pub, Carl. Hey, fuck you, Carl. He heard that, but he probably thought it was a voice in his head. Damien and Vanstrom, vampire nobles, arms crossed, serious business. So I guess the sisterhood that I'm not allowed to join created an elixir a long time ago that extended people's lives at the cost of them sleeping forever, so it 
It's like a terrible idea. But therefore, the sleeper plague. Croy found the recipe for it, so he's been putting people to sleep with the bloody bracer drink. And then while they're asleep, the vampires tithe them since they don't need as much blood while they're asleep to survive. Vanstrom's like, who the hell told you to do some shit like that? Damien is really embodying the whole young, ambitious, naive character trope right now. Surely this story ends in his favor. It always does with these characters. And here's the crucial old and wise counter of you're being reckless. It's gonna get you killed. And he's like, no, I'm too smart and talented for that to happen. I'm more powerful than you think I am, old man. You're old and stupid. And now Vanstrom's telling him that the Myrick are already here, and he's screwed, and he's not helping him. Oh, no, he's coming this way. Maybe I hold off on the whispering this time. No, oh, he's going up. Good. Time for my grand entrance. How much did you hear, human? Enough. Then I can't let you leave this place alive. Death isn't on my to-do list today. A joker. Your arrogance will be your end, human. Yeah, probably not. We shall see. Yes, we shall. Jesus, Croy, you don't have to nod so hard. You're gonna snap your own neck. I really hope Croy has a trick up his sleeve here, because he is not doing much. What was that? What was he throwing? No, oh, didn't do anything. All right, Croy, it's been a pleasure. Destroy. Yeah, why not? Jesus Christ! I punched the whole table in half. I'm unstoppable. Let's check in with Velioff and let him know how good I punched tables. We just filled him in and he's adding that the vampire population has grown so much that they're running out of blood to take, which, I mean, I don't think they've ever had sufficient blood supply, so maybe it's a true shortage now. Hence the sleeper plague idea. He's saying the fact that Damien went behind the nobles' backs might mean their problems are a lot bigger than we thought, and I guess they're also recruiting werewolves to get humans for tithing, so that's another issue entirely. We've already done too much for these Zamorakians. There are others more deserving of our time. Whoa, Velioff. No need for hate speech in public right now. Everything's fine. <laughs> Just calm down. Until we leave, at least. We're gonna meet up with Velioff, Ivan, and Drezzle back at Paterdomus to continue this little investigation. What's up, Drezzle? Has Velioff filled you in? Not yet. I thought it best to wait for you. What? Velioff, do not repeat something to the audience if they've already read it, heard it, or seen it. Very important storytelling thing to remember. Drezzle, maybe you just improv and guess what happened, as courtesy to the viewers. So entire groups of people have gone missing. They tried to get the King of Varrock involved, but his advisor discouraged military action. Typical. This is why I hate politics. Velioff, you hate politics because it makes an effort to keep peace instead of jumping to killing and bloodshed? You'd have war every time, every single situation, war. There's gonna be a meeting of shady characters in the haunted woods, so we're gonna go investigate that. Also, Ivan is not here because he's already spying on the meeting. He's just a boy. He's a grown man. <laughs> you just made Velioff look silly, Drezzel. I liked it. Once Drezzel is gone, he will be the only remaining descendant of the seven priestly warriors. Who the hell are the seven priestly warriors? Are you becoming forgetful by release? What? What do you mean? Don't gaslight me, Drezzle. You've never told me anything about that. This is the first time you've, I've heard anything about th this seven warrior thing. Talking about those statue guys over there? The seven of them? I didn't even know there were seven over there. I ne I've never counted them. I thought they were just decoration. My guy is wanting these dudes to just smash the fucking space bar on their conversation. We're gonna get going. I'd appreciate if you could avoid mentioning the Evandus stuff to Ivan. Yeah, dude, no problem. I don't give a shit. All right, there's Ivan standing menacingly under a tree. Velioff really wants Ivan to stay safe and it's getting obnoxious. Imagine trying to do a quest and you've got this guy trying to keep you safe. Not by giving you food and prepping you, but trying to convince you to log off so nothing can kill you. Oh my god, that family's about to fight the vampires. Oh, never mind. They're about to be blood slaves. Very hostile exchange going on between the werewolves and vampies. Please don't hurt us. We'll do anything. That is the last thing you should probably say in your situation. Next time, bring more. You assume there's gonna be a next time. I bet you don't last another week now that the Myrarchy are running around with vampire killing weapons. A week? He won't even last another day at this rate. Yeah, I give him another 30 minutes max. The werewolves are going up near Varrock and shit and snatching families up for vampires. Not really ideal for neighborhoods. Do you two hear something? No, you're losing your psychotic mind, Ivan. You're paranoid. Never mind, we're gonna die, I think. Go on then, finish it. Ma'am, if you don't kill Velioff here, I might. Oh, Velioff, if I had wanted you dead, I'd have done it a long time ago. Very true, Velioff. I don't think you'd be very hard in a fight. I'm here to talk. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, we're gonna just stand around and talk to a vampire. I will tell you anything you want to know. Hello. Vanescula Dracon. Humana, humana. I released the great vampire slayer. You really mean that? How else would you describe me if you'd had to, you think? She's glad I killed her brother, apparently. She's got a once-in-a-lifetime offer for us. She's saying there's no chance of us getting to Lower Niel without her help. But she can get us right into his chamber. 
members. She doesn't want to go into detail here, so she's going to meet us at uh, Icene Graveyard, I guess. You're trying to lure us all there to wipe us out. You know, why do I feel like Velioff has gotten lured like once a year for the last 14 years? He's the type of guy to still be open to telegrabbing a cash stack on the ground. Vanascula knows exactly where all of our secret bases have been. She knows how many of us there are. She also just dropped the bomb that Calcidu, the apparent heroic leader of the Myrkey, who has been their main source of hope, is simply a lie told by Velioff. Just an idea of a guy who he used to generate false hope in the group. But she doesn't want to talk here, so we're going to meet her at the Icene Graveyard. What? Velioff, what isn't good about this? What? Velioff is still trying to convince Ivan to stay back. Was Velioff always this thick in the head? I feel like he's a terrible leader and the most annoying personality possible. Damn it, Ivan, I'm trying to keep you safe. You're wielding a baby sickle, Velioff. You've got steel plate legs and leather gloves. Who do you think you're keeping safe here? I'd appreciate if you could escort Ivan down to Bergdorot. Oh, you want me to do temple tracking to get him back? That's your idea of keeping him safe? You wouldn't want him to come to my POH and use a Barrow's teleport portal? Or maybe a Shades of Morton minigame teleport? You suck at safe things, Velioff. You suck at most things I'm learning. I hear this minigame's great if you're miserable. Looks like we can't get over this bog. We'll have to go back to Paterdomus. Okay, who wrote this quest? This dude was just yapping about the importance of taking a and making an effort towards the tyrannical vampires. But we get to a little river and suddenly he's tapping out immediately. Maybe Velioff was onto something. Maybe this guy's just a liability. A ball and chain around my ankles. Ivan, look, you start clicking things, okay? There's only so much you can do. We've got three strings. We tie them together. We get a rope. Is it safe, you wonder? Of course it's not safe, but you don't want to get your socks wet, so follow me. I'll have to do the same. Your brain is solving so many puzzles, Ivan. Why is it fading to black? No. Did you guys just weasel your way out of animating a rope swing? One of the oldest animations in this video game? Good god, I know this is when you guys started working from home, but you've been back for far too long to let Ivan just fade to black. What are, what are these things? I hate their noise. I can't believe this was exported from a fucking audio software as a final draft. I'm so mad about things right now. <laughs> the bridge is out. Do you think there's a way over? Just shut up, Ivan. If things are broken, you fix them, Ivan. It's not- you can't just expect- where did he go? Where is Ivan? Did he run back? You escort Ivan through the swamp. Do I? I think I escort me through the swamp. I'm not seeing Ivan anywhere. Looks like some fresh Myrky meat. Hang on, that's the Slayer. The one that killed Rannis. That's right, and it was funny. So step aside, vamps. I have no quarrel with you. Very polite of them to 1v1. I respect this. Oh, I've turned this one into a cloud. That was kind of beautiful in a way. Ha ha ha, time to disappear and rejuvenate. Okay, I'll just do it again when you're back. Another successful journey. Is that what you think a journey is? That was not a journey just now. That, that was an inconvenience. Here we are, likely going to our doom. Shut up, Velioff. At least we go together. Shut up, Ivan. You know, if I waited another two years to do this quest, I might have been able to sail to this graveyard instead. I gotta be more patient with putting these episodes out. Way too frequent nowadays. Cephalon, hi. Myrarchy prevail, yeah, exactly, that's what I was thinking. He said ever since I killed Rannis, the vampires have doubled their aggressiveness towards citizens. I essentially threw a rock at a wasp nest, killed one of them, and left town while everyone else dealt with the repercussions of the hundreds of others. I'm a goddamn hero. They know we can kill them. They finally know what fear feels like. Yeah, I bet they start freaking out when they see you roll up with your steel armor. By release, after due consideration by Velioff and I, we would like to promote you to the rank of Lieutenant in the Myrarchy. Congratulations. Wow, Lieutenant in the Myrarchy. Let me get Yes, you guys made yourself generals, and the other three guys who aren't dead are captains, and I'm still the lowest in the chain of command. We wanted to thank you in some way for all your hard work so far. What about money? Anyone else abnormally happy about what's going on right now? Skip this small talk. Shut up! Up, Velioff! Conversing with you is a chore. Most real thing I've heard today, Venezuela. Venescula, whatever. <laughs> She's explaining that Mauritania used to be known as Hollow Vale, ruled by a race of Ceradominus called Icene. Then her brother Lower, Niel, stupid name, conquered it and renamed it Mauritania. She claims it's the worst thing to ever happen to them. Humans are decreasing, vampires are increasing, supply and demand, but it's in vampire runescape. Lower Niel has been absent through this whole downfall, so she's pissed. She's saying there was once a time where humans Humans and vampires lived in harmony in a big old empire, and under her rule, she'll return to that way of life. Mauritania would become a land of peace and prosperity with humans and vampires living side by side. Or we could just kill both you and your brother and take back Mauritania for humanity. Who the fuck? Kale? Hard leather body zero kill count Kale is saying this? Do I need to stay a part of the Myrarchy, you think? She's saying if we killed her, another would just take her place, and she's the only one who would rule with good intentions. So, she's our only hope. Say we accept your offer, how do you propose to get us into the castle? 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, Staphylon. Not the question we ask first, I think. I would like to hear more about this human vampire harmony fairy tale she's talking about. Because let's say she does declare peace, stops all vampire hostilities. Does that also mean you suddenly stop being vampires and you no longer need blood? You start getting blood from pigs or something you could have done already at any point? There's a giant hole here, Vanescula. It's gonna end terribly for us. We're being set up. And honestly, I'm just gonna roll with this anyway because I like having you around. So yeah, how are we, how are we getting in the castle? We're gonna pretend to be prisoners of hers and she's just gonna escort us into the castle and then we fight Lower Niel and win. Of course, I'm not happy. You expect us to just hop into bed with you? Belly off. Whoa. <laughs> just me, dude. Just me. This is growing boringly repetitive, Velioff. Very good point. Let's kill him. She wants to talk to Saphalon. Okay, I guess I'm the chauffeur for their private conversation. Saphalon shares a name with the old Icene royal family. He says the name is pretty normal since lots were named after them. And Saphalon remembers nothing from his childhood. And I guess Vanstrom Claus played a part in that. But Saphalon has some weird mysterious powers going on, so it saved him. Vanescula knows all about his powers. When he fought Vanstrom, he used his powers at the cost of forgetting everything, except for his own name. This graveyard we're in is the private graveyard of the Hollow family. Every member of the royal family is buried here. The old rulers of this place are buried in that big thing behind her, and she says he'll find the truth he's been searching for in there. Oh my god, my guy is a genius, just a scholar. The door is locked, ma'am. <laughs> well noted, we'll need to unlock it. I bet I can get it open, I said, puffing my chest out and sucking in my gut. These I seen people were on another level of genius, making their burial ground accessible to anyone who could do math for a second. All right, give me like two months while I figure this out. So. Step aside, I get to see it first. I earned it. There's a plaque on the coffin. What does it say? Here lies Lorena Hollow, beloved daughter of Afarate and Asertes Hollow, and- And? My god. <laughs> That's the most dramatic thing my characters has literally ever said. Dramatic pauses are my new thing. And a faithful sister of Saphalon Hollow. It can't be true. It can't be. Why not? He's the half-human, half Icene half son of Queen Afarate Hollow. I had a sister. The fucking look of horror at the thought of him not being an only child is intense. He's concerned because this building was built for his mother and father, but they're not here. During the big crazy war, his father was captured, so his mother turned herself in to try and save him, but that didn't work. No one but Lower Niel knows what happened to her, and his father was put through vampirification, so he became a bad guy to fight for them. But his father lives to this day. He's now known as Vanstrom Claus. Oh my god, Saphalon. You're the Luke Skywalker of RuneScape, dude. That's so cool. He needs some time alone or something, and he wants me to tell everyone that we're in on the plan. Paul Maffey here sees holes in this plan, understandably. But he's not on board. Ivan's very stoked about joining forces. He's all in on Vanescula's plan. Let's just hope there's no rivers or broken bridges when we head out. Vertita's kind of just riding the wave here, and, hey, it's uh... it's really you. What? What are you... Don't do that. They don't know about the videos. They'll freak out if they know I'm making money off their hardships. Keep quiet, please. Uh, yeah, yeah Vertita's cool with it. Guys, would you believe me if I told you that Velioff still doesn't want to go through with the thing we have no choice about going through with? This guy's great. Kale, hi. Great heckling back there in the most serious conversation we've ever had. You're a real hoot. Vampires are the enemy, and she is a vampire. You're the Sherlock Holmes of smart shit, Kale. All right, I guilt tripped him and told him that his friend's death would be in vain if he didn't help, so he's in. Radigad. See, this guy gets it. He likes the plan. Oh. <laughs> He wants to kill Vanescula after the plan. Maybe he doesn't get it, but he gets it for now, and that's that's good enough. Okay, I'm talking to this guy again, and I'm telling him that Ragadad has a plan to overthrow Vanescula after we kill her brother, and he likes the sound of that plan um, because he's an idiot, and it's enough to get him on board, so that's truly what matters here. Okay, Velioff. Uh, also, thanks, guy. Marky prevail. All right, Velioff, you're the only asshole who's being an idiot and dumb also. So why don't you just come on over with the rest of us? Because we're pointing and we cannot stop laughing. Looks like we all get to die together. Shut up, Velioff. My Evandus flail is not going to be enough to kill the big guy, so we have to make something more powerful. Vanescula is actually the reason that I was able to make this first flail, so she's cool for that. We got to go back to the old laboratory and find more research notes about vampire killing weapons. I would like to join you by release. Nice. You know, I really wish companions were a thing in this game. Kind of like pets, but they can fight with you. I guess that was like summoning. There's just such a good feeling of not running around alone. Oh, he's meeting me there. All right. Never mind. Okay, laboratory should be somewhere here. I think it's right next to me in there. Okay, we're in. Cephalon, what have you found? Let me guess, you've been standing here for 15 minutes, twiddling your thumbs in a four-tile radius waiting for me to get here. Cephalon is talking to me about his construction level or some shit. Oh, look out. 
Whoa, Cephalon, chill out, dude. It's just a freaking blood felt. Just pray melee. You don't gotta go sacrificing every memory you've ever had just to protect yourself from this thing. This guy better remember me in 10 seconds or I'm gonna be pissed. We're standing around cracking jokes about how he, he's a thousand years old and brittle and elderly, so uh, I have to do all the work. Okay, well, luckily, it looks like this mutated blood veld problem we've just discovered is immediately solved. We have a rotating auto-targeting cannon set up down here. All is well. How's Questing? Uh... Sorry, dude, I got nervous. I didn't know what to say. Found research. Handing it over to Saf. I'm meeting him back at the graveyard. Looks like Velioff is letting Vanescula know for the 400th time that he's skeptical and will retaliate with force. And Vanescula is reminding him again how easy it would be to nuke all of us right here, right now. But she still hasn't, so please, for the love of God, shut up, Velioff. There's a tree, a blisterwood tree, and its bark can create weapons that can demolish vampires, so we, we need that. Perfect for killing your brother. Assuming you don't kill us first. God, Velioff, I will vampirify myself just to fucking not be on the side that you're on. Vanescula, I'll pay you any amount of vampire money to kill Velioff right here where he stands. It will make zero difference in this plan, I promise. The tree we need is in the middle of Darkmire, the new vampire capital. I'll need a disguise as a vampire noble to get in there, so we're gonna take some stuff to old man Ral's basement and get it made. Pull Maffy's making the disguise for us. Oh, I can't wear it yet. So now I need to scent this disguise with the blood of a noble, so we get to take out that Damien guy from earlier. I'm gonna kill him and then rub his his blood all over the clothes. All right, I'm here with a battle-hardened veteran, and uh, we're gonna fight the Damien guy. You think I'm afraid? I'm a lord of Darkmire. I am fear. <laughs> My guy's like, aren't lords supposed to have, I don't know, guards and shit? Everybody abandoned him. He is literally here by himself with no help. Romwick, you will support me. Oh, that's the guy who rules this place. Ruled this this place. Oh, Velioff tossing up the overhead prayer. Okay. Very impressed with that Velioff. More of that. Looks like he's just putting fires around the room every now and then. No idea what they do, but I'm just stomping them out as soon as they show up on the floor because there's no way he's putting them there to help me. Damien, you reek. Got me falling asleep over here. As Damien dies, you use his blood to scent your disguise. You start tasting it. You like it. You want more of it. It's the only thing you like now. Got what you need? What? Yeah. Yeah, we should go. I'm in this manor right now, and I'm looking around, because I don't think you can ever come back here once you leave, so I just want to find, like, anything. They gotta put cool shit in buildings like this. Just some kind of incentive for players to aimlessly wander around areas like this. Like, all three of these bookshelves that are only accessible right now this one time, you find nothing of interest to you. Yeah, how cool would it be to find an NPC's diary giving their perspective of a game update? Like, the guy living here in this manor writing about being concerned because players from the main land are lining up for the theater of blood the day it came out or like an old newspaper talking about the first group to successfully complete the theater of blood oh wait there's a bronze dagger right there on the ground scratch everything i just said they added plenty to this place well i've got my noble vampire outfit would probably look way better if i was a girl character which makes me uh wow my right arm is significantly bigger than my left that's weird and i have no idea why that's that's the case. Well, let's get going. We, we, we got a lot to do. Immersion test. Hello. Oh, sorry. We're not meant to talk to the nobles. Yes. Good, Jagex. You've passed. This time. I'm back, everyone. What's up? Vampire Slayer returns. Two of my brothers, now Damien as well. Two of your brothers. Wait, who'd I kill? He also killed our younger brother, Draenor. Oh, that's your brother, we've decided. Okay. He wasn't much of a challenge compared to Rannis and Damien, I said, lying, knowing damn well I'd nearly got my ass kicked as he depleted all of my shrimp. I guess there's a convenient crack in a wall in North Mire Ditch that I can just scurry into to get into Dark Mire. Oh, look, Saffalon finally asking the first question we should have asked. And uh, look at that. She does not have an answer. I have to get to some guarded building holding the Blisterwood tree and then cut logs from it. My name has also suddenly become Anarik Helsing. I don't really like that. What about... Gary Gilberkula. What do we think about that instead? Anorak Helsing, it suits you by release. So that's a no for Gilberkula. And it's been that easy the whole time. How did we not try that? We're in Darkmire. It's a lot of the same houses with nothing in them. And a furnace that no one's used once. I know I'm supposed to lay low, but what if I talk to every NPC I come across by accident? What's there to do around here? Eat, drink, and... Sounds great, I'll be sure to try those things. I don't know if my character's nervous or if my social skills have tanked drastically in the last three minutes. What are you looking at? You. Okay, it's definitely the social skill thing. Why? Why not? I guess. It's a bit weird, though. What's so weird about barging into your house and staring at you for a few minutes, lady? Damn, I should start committing some crimes here so you just to see what happens. This should be the place. This guy Desimidus is guarding it, and he isn't gonna let me or anyone in ever for the rest of the time. Except Gilberkula carries much wisdom and knows that everyone wants something, and this guy is no exception. And look at that. Everyone's got a price. A juvenite was supposed to deliver some slaves to him, who happened to be the family of Gatteranks. My family. I wanted to keep them safe. Will you do me 
a favor? Please, try to save them. Please, I beg you. You have my word. If we find them, we'll take care of them. Well, I hope this guy takes good care of them. I gotta go to the lower tier of the city. I don't know what that means, but what is going on over here? Oh, how terrible. They're auctioning away humans to be blood slaves. Oh my god. The, oh, the horror. Terrible. Just terrible. I, how soon is very soon, you think? Maybe I'll catch the next one, not a big deal. Okay, here's the guy. Oh, good, he sold them to someone else. Great, he sold them to Lord Alexei Jovkai, who's one of the most powerful vampires in the city. Hey, here they are. Apparently this lord is actually a nice dude who treats the humans nicely, and they like it here. Too bad they're not staying here. Uh-oh, Lord Alexei approaches. Who are you? Gilbercula, and I ain't looking for any trouble, partner. <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't really care that these slaves belong to someone else. Also, they they keep saying they like it here. I don't know if they, they mean that, but they're trying to get the point across. Oh, shit. It's arms crossed secondary antagonist guy. Time to stare forward and not turn around until he becomes suspicious of me. Fanstrom knows these humans and knows that the guy guarding that building over there owns them and wants them returned. You there, fire. Y yeah? Oh, he conveniently wants me to tell the guy he's getting his slaves back. The thing I was trying to do in the first place. Your voice, fire. It sounds familiar. What is your name. Oh god, I gotta put the Gilbercula voice on or I'm toast. Gary Gilbercula, I am the coolest vampire. Turn and face me. Oh man, I could really use a coincidental interruption to make him forget about me turning around. Whew. That was close. Oh, it's Vanascula saving the day. My hero. Well, I've successfully assured that these folks here get a slow and painful death instead of the comfort they were given. Mission accomplished. He's letting us in. It's time to get ourselves some blister wood. What is... What, what, what is going on here? He let the fucking lumberjack in before me? All the barks can be gone before I get there. I gotta turn these valves until it gets the exact amount of water it needs and then I can chop it. I'm gonna pretend I did that really fast and I didn't mess up twice. You'll never know. Wood acquired. Back to base. Okay, now we gotta make the modifications to our vampire killing stick. Back to Meyer Ditch. Maraki prevail, yeah, great. Gave the weapon guy all the wood. He's gonna make everyone blister wood sickles. I'm gonna make a ruby sickle to attach. I'm gonna enchant it, and then we just jam it into the wood, hard. And now we have the blister wood flail, and we can take over as king of all vampires, is how I understand this. Well, uh, I was ready for battle, but I guess Saphalon is being a crybaby somewhere, so we have to go give him a binky or something. Really? Staring out into the ocean? The ocean with like 20 squares of render distance? You've got power hours from your demigod relatives and you're sulking, staring at low resolution water that doesn't move. So this is it. All these years of fighting. All these years of running. It all ends today, one way or another. You know, Saphalon, I don't want to ruin your moment here, but... <sighs> They gave you copy and pasted dialogue. Elena literally said the exact same thing to me before the final fight in the last quest. Like, almost word for word. They gave you recycled dialogue, dude. And you don't even get to friend zone me, so... I mean, this is just way worse for you. It's possible we will encounter Vanstrom today. Oh, you mean the most active of all Dracons who regularly patrols the city? I'd say it's possible we literally deathmatch him today. Oh, also, that's your dad. I just remembered that. Yeah, we might kill your dad today. One last thing, by release. Thank you for everything. Hey, you know what? You're the first NPC to ever acknowledge that I have in fact done literally everything for this cause. Everyone else contributing nearly zero things this entire quest line. So thank you for acknowledging. No one's mentioned the thing that I, I, I've been wondering about. No one suggested that we maybe bring some garlic with us, just in case. Like, what if it's the one thing we truly need here? Like, I know there's some rumors uh, about garlic not working on this side of the river south, but maybe that's what they want us to think. I, I mean, I, I mean, I'm not going to try it. I'm too deep. I, I don't, I'm not going back to a bank. So the plan is basically to teleport to the most secure place in all of Darkmire, pretending to be captured by Vanescula, and uh, just walk in. And then we lock the doors behind us and kill Lower Niel, and Vanescula takes over, and we can celebrate, as vampires still want to fucking suck all our blood and kill us. So let's do it. Why is it that every time I'm quote unquote captured, I'm still fully geared with armor and weapons? This is the most unconvincing capture of all time. I will say though, we look we look really good. Me specifically. Vanstrom Claus? Here? She's playing the card of telling the truth but lying about it also. She's saying she's convinced us. She's on our side as if she's tricked us, but that is the trick. Or she's telling the truth right now and we've fallen for a classic lure. What was that noise? My god. 
It's Dr. Vampiric Deathblood, is what I'd say if he had a cooler name. Oh no. He's starting his intro monologue with a metaphorical childhood story that he's justified his means to do evil. I can't fight a guy like that. Oh, it was actually just a really drawn out way of saying Vanascula sucks at lying. Ooh, very nice dramatic walk. Also, his wing's broken. We should strike while he's weak. Dr. Loaf is making it abundantly clear that he knows everything. Vanascula's telling him he's been a bad leader and been sitting around in his room playing video games while everyone's suffering. He's saying his full name that I'm not gonna read. That means he's He's upset, I think. The vampire's dialogue is actually pretty good. He's a he's a convincing bad guy. Oh fuck. This dude just used the force. Vanascula, what are you doing? real comforting for us. Thank you. Let's get him for Andy's. All right, fellas, you haven't moved quite yet, even though you've announced your surprise attack, but uh, I'd like to point out that you're all wearing nothing. Your pants are ripped. This doesn't look good for you. I think you wait for a second. Maybe we, we talk a little bit more. And they're walking. Oh, man, how'd that not work? Real glad I made you guys the ultimate vampire killing sickles. Maybe I make iron armor sets next time. Vanstrom's saying he's still loyal, and he's just been ordered to deal with the rest of us. All right, Vanescula. Thanks for your help. See you later. I've waited a long time for this day. Day that the Myarchy finally die. Imagine letting a resistance of, like, eight people live rent-free in your head. I love that he crosses his arms even after transforming. He's gotta look cool no matter what's going on. Oh, I guess you guys just get to watch now. Saffalon, maybe don't do the whole dad, it's me, remember a bit? It's probably not, I don't think it's gonna work, dude. Dad, surely you remember the things that I don't remember about? Come on. And that was a right hook so powerful it sent him upwards instead of to the side. That is scary. This is a scary guy. Shall we begin? Uh, I, want to see, I mean, you want to pot up first? Okay, all right, well, good luck. I remember him doing an attack that destroys you if you're facing him while he does it. I don't know the timing of his mechanics at all, so this might look a little silly while I fight him, I don't know. Oh, there it is. If you're looking at him while he does that, it's like insta-death. If he could stop healing for 17s, that would be really funny. He is tanky. I'm hitting like a baby. I got him under 300 HP, but he's got a second phase with another 200 HP after this one. I cannot tell if I'm doing good on food. Tell you what, I'm really working him with these twos I'm hitting. Alright, second phase. This one sucks. I have to dodge these little shadows on the ground before they fall on me while also attacking him and eating. It's not crazy complicated, but it's, it's more of a sensory overload thing. Fucking no! Oh, oh, really good start. I can't click. I feel like I'm lagging. Why is there is a blue circle on my mouse? It's loading right now. Why is something loading? Yeah, I'm leaving. That was that was a lot of dumb mistakes. Also, what server am I on? Because I felt like my character had something holding onto his ankles whenever I clicked somewhere. Oh, good. I was on a German server again. I was hopping around to buy pineapples earlier, and I just never switched back. That's good work, me. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay, this time it's going a lot better. Some of my attacks are hitting higher than two, so this was really beneficial. No, no. No fucking way! Why'd I do that? I don't know why my brain thought, you know, now's a good time to open the chat box up for literally no reason. So that's what I did, which was just enough time for me to misclick his hitbox four times and die to the shadow. What is wrong with me, dude? Why did I just do that? Damn it. Oh, gee, thanks, Felioff. Thanks for picking up all my items. Really glad you could just stroll through that red barrier he put up just to loot me. But during the fight, oh, no, no, red barrier. Sorry, stuck over here. How are you even here? Belly off. The bad guy just lets you walk away untouched. No resistance from the locals who saw what happens to disloyal vampires. Little weird, if you ask me. Don't even talk during the fight, Vanstrom. It's a silent battle this time. Don't talk. He's healing 18s? Does he have an inventory of monkfish? What is his problem? Please just die! I'm begging you to die! Please. 
I don't want to fight you anymore. You have one HP. Just fucking die, please. <laughs> please just fucking die. Oh my god, you piece of shit. How long was he on one HP for? Stop? No, fuck you. Stop? And why would I want to do that? Because I'm about to kill you, probably. Oh, he's talking about how uh, his dad was pathetic, like it's an entirely different person than him. I remember the joy when I took your sister's skull and crushed it with my bare hands. Yeah, this is real tough talk from a guy I just beat. Granted, he also beat me, but that, that part wasn't canon. He definitely just killed his dad. We need to go. Why? It's just one fire watch. We're fine. Okay, so it looks like Saffalon's about to get captured, uh, which means he's either going to be a mini boss next quest, because uh, his ass is getting vampirified, or the finale is going to be like a Mario mission, busting into a, a castle and defeating Vampire Bowser to save him. One of those, probably. He. He killed them. All of them. Ivan, they charged at him with vampire killing sickles after watching him instantly snap the necks of four vampires. They wanted that to happen. I'm almost, I'm almost certain of it. Velioff, what do we do? Velioff? Yeah, Velioff, here's a question for you. You think we can trust Vanescula's plan? She, she is a vampire. It's over. They've won. I mean, I think I may have won a little bit in, in a way back there. I, I mean, I just killed like the second or third strongest vampire in the universe. I mean, you're completely correct. There's nothing that, that we can do as a unit, meaning you and the guy who's scared of rivers. Me, on the other hand, I might have just earned the respect of, of every vampire. So... Uh, speak for yourself. We can't give up. We're the Myarchy. The Myarchy are dead. It's about time. We can start fresh. Uh, a new vampire killing club with a name that doesn't suck. What do you guys think of the Gilbercula Commandos? Okay, I'll keep brainstorming. I'm sorry by release. I need some time alone. Uh, yeah, I didn't plan on hanging out, man. All right, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Quest complete. Sins of the Father. We've done it. And you know, a lot of people think that this is a cliffhanger. I disagree. I think that this is a realistic finale, no Hollywood ending. Sometimes there's things like vampire demigod Jedis that are simply out of reach, and that's okay. It's fine. We find something else to do. Or I find literally anyone else except for those two uh, to fight the vampires with, and then we can consider this a cliffhanger. Hey guys, turns out I was considered AWOL when I came back. I still have much left on my tour, so if you'd like to join me, uh, download War Thunder. It's in the description. See you there. Please hurry, there's so many tanks. So I can get six 15k XP drops in a skill over 60. Now this is gonna be very controversial, but I'm gonna put it all into prayer. It, this is not smart to do by any means, but let me tell you, instant 90k XP into prayer gives me a happy feeling, and I'll take happy whenever I can get it, so it's going into prayer. Two entire prayer levels, that is so good. Okay, well, what's our next journey? Oh. The pig quest. Let's get after it. <laughs>